that's an absolute oh, leg. I'm, I'm not no, shouting. We get on a right. Leave it now. That's it. I'm him off. That's mate, not my mum. I'm only talking to him. Next up at Meadowbank, it's the visit of York City, a side that struggled near the foot of the National League last season before eventually holding on to their Step 1 status by just three points. While Dorking comfortably dispatched them in Surrey, York's victory up north, combined with Mark's sending off, provided what was to be the lowest ebb in Dorking's debut season in the fifth tier. And this season, York is struggling again. Two defeats and two draws from their opening four games is far from what the fans would have expected, particularly with the club coming under new ownership in the summer. So for Dorking Wanderers, who have just added popular York midfielder Dan Pybus to their squad, there's an expectation that today a win should be forthcoming, especially with an inside man now in their ranks. Right, boys. Right, boys, tune up then. Right, listen, it's really fucking simple. We want to have a good evening, a good evening and a fucking good Sunday and then look forward, forward to a fucking ram woken on Monday. But we're just worried about today. This is a game where we don't need to worry about the opposition whatsoever apart from things that make a difference. So we'll have to discuss dead balls. So we'll make sure when we get the team sheet in combination with the scout and report and, and pipers, we'll make sure we, we've just got the right heights and shit. They'll be relatively big. It'll be nothing, there won't be anything directional. It'll be more just size, okay, yeah. Um, there's a throw that's half shit. The corners will be all right. So we'll just have to make sure we're organized for that. Easy money, we're gonna win this. We're all gonna have sausage and batter tonight, a super dish. Yeah? You don't like sausage and batter, Bob? <laughs> That's like fucking proper. You like it, Baz? Of course it does. I want that steak. <laughs> That's how we are, yeah? First clean sheet, yeah? Good home performance, yeah? And I look forward to this one today. So let's get ourselves sorted. What time are we going out, lads? I'm fucking back. I'm angrier than ever. I can't wait to see the officials. I got here straight away and thought, where, where fucking are they? I've never even met them. I don't know their names. Um, I've missed, obviously, all of it. Most of all, I've missed being able to do something about it. Do you know what I mean? It's like watching your mates in a bar brawl on a TV in a hotel room and you can't do fuck all about it. Do you know what I mean? So um, I'm able to influence things from top to bottom. And um, it's been good already seeing everyone. Do you know what I mean? So fuck knows what'll happen with the result. Who knows? But it would be great today to go back with a win and just make everybody feel like it's business as usual. The gaffer's back. Uh, expectations for the season were better before the last four games we had, uh, but we're hoping just to kind of get into the playoffs and kind of have a go at promotion, really. So, well, they were just survival before, but since we've got all this money coming, um, you're looking for. Well, really, you'd be looking for promotion, but. Let's be realistic, it takes time. We did have high hopes coming in to start maybe playoffs. Obviously, when Ugly come in, it, we had playoffs, but beforehand, we were sort of probably the same as last year, relegation. I think he's probably already under pressure. And a lot of his comments post-match and whatever, uh, he seems to be struggling. Because nobody seems to understand what you're saying. No. Um, so if we don't understand, <laughs> surely the players don't understand, you know, so, yeah. Steak for Baz. I'm going to get steak, but I'm going to get Baz. His whole family a nice steak tonight. I am, mate. That's a hell of a fucking family. Mac is right, we get one to go around his family. <laughs> yeah, only fucking tiny. Get one fucking eight ounce and all have a, a week on that. <laughs> Back in the early days of Bunch of Amateurs, Mark offered his coat to Jimmy should the winger score a hat-trick in a friendly against South End. Jimmy immediately scored two goals before having his third controversially ruled as an own goal. It's something that Jimmy has not forgotten. Oh, I fit like a glove, mate. Oh, I'm just going to take it. Right. <laughs> mate, I'm just going to take it. You just take the whole gear? Yeah, put it all on. Hold on. Oh, no, leave it on, leave it on, leave it on. Oh, Alright. <coughs> Always play the no, overload. Jim, Jim, the board. Overload. Board. Who wrote on the board? Huh? Who's fucking wrote on this fucking board? <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> fucking hell. Mitch! Get me tea! Where's your tea? <laughs> right, boys. Three, <laughs> five, two. 
Oh, the overload. Back into the overload. Into wingers, they might have someone up there and probably lose a ball, but just fucking give it to the wingers. Get it in the transfer. Transfers, transfers all over the pitch, all over the pitch. Oh, Two people all over the pitch. Come <laughs> 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 on, oh, Jim! <laughs> you look so much better like me. Oh, you, look, you look so much better like me, it's unbelievable. <laughs> That's superb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim. 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 <laughs> As normal, Mark demanded a fast start, and yet it's York that are on the early front foot, or hand in Jason Pry's case. Depot Akinyemi hits the ball at Jason's forearm, but the ref's not too bothered, while Linnell Nicholas John Lewis heads a decent chance over the bar. Mark wants his team to follow their patterns of play, and with York pressing the Wanderers high, it's a chance to see how adept they are at sticking to the plan. Turn that, turn, 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 man coming! Go, 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 go. Mark does seem to be making an effort not to focus his energy on debates with the officials, although a challenge on Jason Pryor begins to set him off. Yeah, full for me, this is a fucking off the ball, is that alright mate? That's fucking terrible. That's borderline a fucking red. Josh Taylor has a long throw. I'm doing air um, quotes. But Josh Taylor's throw isn't quite long enough unless he hits the head of Jason Pryor at the near post. And when that happens, it's game on. Josh's throw does indeed reach Jason Pryor, and his header rebounds to his own feet. He uses one of those feet to fire the ball back at goal. The shot is blocked, and that leads to James McShane tapping in from five yards out. Just after the half-hour mark, Seb Bowerman wins the ball back and sets Dorking up for a counter. This side. Back into fucking centre forward. Oh, mate! That's one of those waiting for the net, isn't it? There's not a lot else to report from this opening half, but we can promise you this the second half will be far more entertaining. Who said that? They've hit and done it last kick of the game. Did they? Mark and Co are scouring the pitch to figure out what York are up to. Have they changed, as James McShane was led to believe, or was the on field message a cunning ruse to mess with their tactical minds? Dorking have been mixing long ball stuff into their approach in recent times and Mark is keen to get them back to playing on the floor, hence the patterns in training. And yet on the pitch, the players aren't quite executing his vision. No good! You've got to play! Baz, you have to play! York are bossing the game now, and with Gallagher missing in midfield, Mark wants to send on new boy Dan Pybus to shore things up. Dan, how fit are you? Yeah, good. Warm up, mate. Yeah, going on. Don't win any personal battles, just win the game. That's yeah. what we want to do, mate. Just win the battle in there, all the turnovers. Coming in against his former club, which he only left a few days earlier, with his new teammates midfield being largely overrun, it's a tough start for Pybus.
Deepo Akinyemi causes problems in the Dorking defence, and that leads to Kamarud and Kuya turning George Frankham inside out like a reversible jacket. You know, those ones that are like a different jacket design when you turn them inside out. Kuya then curls the ball into the corner to make it one all. Loads of time! Loads of time! Get it down! Get it down! York laying siege to the Dorking goal as if it were the siege of Heracleon. You get tighter, eh? As John Lewis's shot fails to draw dividends, Mark is trying to change the flow of the game. You! Oh. Too deep! Higher! Few players fall over as convincingly as Neil McManus, which at least makes him useful for something. And the subsequent free kick gives Dorking a break from York's incessant pressure. The ball falls to the yacht dog, but he only has a split second to react and his side foot volley narrowly shaves the post. Hey boys, get a winner! Get a winner! Be aware behind Bass. The long goal kick that gets helped on, eventually to Akinyemi, gives the attacker a chance to twist George Frankham's brain into the shape of a pretzel. Then he slips the ball past Harrison Mayo to give York a deserved second goal. Too slow! Too slow! Mark needs the ball moved quicker and he really wants to get it to Bobby Joe Taylor. Forward! More, I take him away! More! Bounce him! Bounce him! Bounce him! Forward! Jason now! Jason now! Get up, get up! Good! Mate, how did, what happened there? That's a fucking miss, that is. I didn't see it. Oh, that's a chance, that is. Jason Pryor can't quite beat Ryan Whitley in the York goal. But it's a sign of improvement as Dorking's towers are up and York are beginning to sit deeper than a fat guy on a broken settee. Run him! Run him! Fucking run him straight! Run him, Bob! Seb! Deliver, Seb! Deliver! Bobby Joe and Seb Bowerman combine down the left with the latter crossing to one of the most reliable foreheads ever seen in non-league football. And Price forehead does what it does best, as far as we know. I mean, who knows what else it can do? We've never looked into it. Big drop off. Yeah. Listen to me. Well, it's Seb. Superb. Listen. Keep him there, Bob. Drop the ball there. Bobby! Get the Bobby fucking Wilson. winner! Get the fucking winner! Get the fucking winner! Come on! With the shade over five minutes to play, Dorking don't have long to deliver on Mark's request, but we assume they're going to give it a good go. Get up! Get up! Go on the fucking up, dog. Oh! Get up! Well, they don't actually manage any chances in those five minutes, but we do have seven minutes of added time, so maybe something will happen then. Jason Pryor looks to meet Baz Fuller's cross, but mistimes the connection as if he works for Southern Rail. Keep going, H. Go Keep on, going. Sorry, Injury time might not have provided a goal, but it is about to provide something even more exciting. Bobby Joe's making a tackle. Harry. Bobby fucking learnt how to tackle. That's such the first tackle he's ever won. Ever made. Like, I was about I to say, but I was going to walk to the end of the game. <laughs> Bobby! Well done! 
perhaps inspired by Bobby Joe's efforts, John Lewis is keen to make a tackle of his own, although it could prove expensive. That was a uh, low hanging fruit right there. Ah! Ah! Fucking hell! That's a fucking red, mate! That's a fucking red card, mate! Fucking awful, that, by the way. Go on, Izzy, go. Get off! It's a fucking red, you diff! Get fucked! You know it! He breaks his fucking leg! Get to fuck! Get to fuck! Fuck off! That's a leg breaker, man. Oh, you want him to break his fucking leg? Mark, That's a fuck off! Mark, please. That's a fucking Mark, leg break! Back, Don't be a wimp! Settle. Don't be a wimp! Back you go. That's an absolute Mark. leg! I'm, I'm not now, shouting, we've done all right. Leave it now, that's, I'm, off, that's all Mate, you're not my mum, I'm only talking to him. Please, all I'm saying, mate, is, yeah, that is an absolute, it's an absolute leg breaker. Watch it back, mate, I promise you, I'm right by it. It's off the ground, ankle high from that distance. We are bemused by York's defence of the challenge, not least Ollie Dyson, who reacts by poking his finger up. into the referee's face as if to say, how dare you question this perfectly safe challenge, Mr. Referee. Miles away. Dip it in there. Nothing Dip it in next. there, Bob. Dip it behind him. Dip it in that space, Bob. Huh? Lock up, Bobby, lock up. With only a matter of seconds to go, there's perhaps enough time for one final effort on goal. Yeah, you should do this. Drop Bob on your own! Don't cross, keep going! 2v1! Moro, have it, Moro! Moro! Ah. Moro! Moro! Gonna get more bodies in the box. That wasn't two minutes, was it? Well done, well done. Yeah, Cheers, well. Mike, mate. See you soon, mate. Cheers, boys. Thanks, lads. Well done, Paul. Cheers, mate. Hold on, mate. Pull up for the season. Right, listen, boys. Just get changed for a minute. R really, really good last 20 minutes. Annoyingly, two, two things, two things in that game. Literally, two things cost us. One was a control ball, one weren't. One is we've had to make a, an enforced change and that screen was important in that game. That screen was really important and it was making a big difference. And that screen, within, no offence to Moro, but that screen Dan was, was doing underneath was making a big difference in their game. And that fucking, uh, that, that six, seven minutes after the change was where they just sort of forced it direct and started winning the, that little underneath bit. So... That was, uh, that was out of our control. Don't mind that. That was out of our control, which is disappointing, OK? And the only other bit was, we've got to make sure we don't go long. It only happened momentarily. If you don't believe me, just watch the games back. When, if you go long, we will lose matches. We are a football team and we always have to play. The minute we started playing, and when you're doing it, you're brilliant. The minute we're playing football, we're a different outfit. You've got to trust how we play. You've got to trust how things work. Their pressing was really piss poor. When we moved it quickly, we destroyed them. And but what we've done brilliant in the last 20 minutes, all of you, we've we played into one wing constantly and we transitioned the ball constantly. And that is how we play. When we're doing that, we've beaten for years every team we want to beat when we're transitioning the ball. And we were coming back out, creating 2v1s. 150 2v1s with Bobby. Baz has fucking done four or five because we was on point, we was on structure. Well done, cheers to the boys that ain't got on. Well done, good football, played well. Keep it short, lads. You're not a long ball team, keep it short. Right. That's where we are, innit? So I'm gonna get a sausage and baron chips anyway, I'm fucking starving. Badge, you want that steak or not? <laughs> In order to keep the show going, we had to cave into YouTube's demands and do shorter episodes, but we're keeping the long versions going. You can join us on YouTube memberships. On the lower tier, you get 40 minute episodes. On the higher tier, you get um, extended episodes. It could be up to, or even over an hour long. You also get uh, extended interviews and director's commentaries and behind the scenes stuff, things of that nature.